Welcome to Tip of the Week by the BIMGuys.com and CAD Tech Seminars. This week we're going to cover how to copy objects from one project to another when design options are involved. This makes it a little bit more sticky and adds a little bit of nuance to it, but we can make it happen. Let's check it out. I'm going to go over here and just jump to the first floor. This is a very simple model, just using the Revit templates. And what I've created here was a base model, and I have two options. Let me go ahead and hit cancel out of that, and we just drop this down. You can see here I have my main model, which are these walls here. And then I have my option one, which are those walls. And then I have option two, which are these walls. Now, if I go to 3D, I did a couple of things here. I introduced another level. See, it says level eight right here. If I go back to my main model, you can see that. Uh, level eight will be only a level that's contained in this project, not in the project we're bringing it into. So we have to take that into consideration. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to switch through, and I also added in just to check is under design option two. This is this goes up to level eight plus two feet. Again, I want to test drive some of these things to make sure they work. And you may want to also as you bring things in. Now, to bring it from one project to another, let's say, for instance, we started in this particular project, but we need to move it to another project because of template issues, who knows what. So we'll go up top and I'll hit File, New. New what? New project. And I'll start with whatever template I need to start with. Sometimes things may happen. You may start in a construction template accidentally. You may start in a generic template and you need to have a sp specific one. So that's what we're going to kind of mimic here. Now, this is the residential template and has different levels from the commercial template. So I'm going to use the commercial template. I'm going to open that up and we'll start another project. So what I have now is project one and project three. Now, if I go through here and I'll close that one. Uh, so this project has nothing in it yet. And I'm going to go to 3D here. So I've got a 3D, which is my construction template. You see it has a level one. And I'm going here, which is my residential, and has lots of different levels, including the one I added. So we want to take the information from this project and port it to this project. Now, for ease, I'm going to rename this view. I'm going to come over here to 3D Views, and I'm just going to rename it to 3D New. Now, it won't let me leave the brackets around it, so it's just be 3D New. That way, when we look at the screen, we can tell which project we're coming from and which project we're going to, just for ease. Okay, so new project. And the first thing we need to do is we need to bring over things that are, I guess, relevant to the design options and the elements in there. So to the original model, you'll notice there is a level, and that level is level 8, and it's 13 feet. I'm going to grab this element here, and I'm going to copy to the clipboard using this little button right here. I'll ping it a couple of times. Copy. And then I'm going to go to the other project here, and I'm going to paste it. So go back to modify again. Now I'm going to modify off the screen because I have a lot of other tools running. I'll drop down a paste. Paste the selected levels. Now I'm going to use level one throughout to keep a consistency as we bring in. So I hit OK. Now this one did come in, and you'll notice that, OK, is it at the right elevation? Notice it came in at 13 feet. Now if I spin this around, let's say right-hand side, you'll see that it came in. This is from the commercial. It says 12.8. And there's our 13, so we know it's coming in proper. All right, so now we've got the level in that's important to us. Now we're going to go back to the original, and we're going to work it through the model, taking the things that are in the main model, copy them over, and then the things in the design set. So as I'm in the main, if I'm in the main model right here, if I was to put a window around these elements, you'll notice that it's just grabbing the objects that are in the main model. It's not picking up the ob objects in the design set, which is fine. So I'll grab these. Copy to clipboard, and I'm going to go back to this one here, and I'm going to paste it. Now, you can do all this from, a, a let's say, level 1 or level 2, but you want to make sure you grab everything. So by being in 3D, I'm going to grab all my three-dimensional elements. Now, this doesn't work for annotation and all that. You'd have to copy per view. Now, here we go. I'm in the, the new project, and we'll go up top. Again, paste, align the selected levels, and I'm going to hit level 1. Hit OK on that and the object comes in. Now let's verify that things are right. So I'm going to spin it around, and you'll notice that this one comes in pretty much at level 1, and you'll notice that it maxes out at level 8. Okay, now if I hit this right button, you can, it'll queue up a little nicer. So there we go. So we want to do a little bit of that checking as we go. Now you may have multiple levels in here to define different elements, so make sure you bring those in first. So as your elements come in, they have something to associate with. Now I'll grab this here, and I want you to notice we're in the new model and see it says level one up to level eight. So that made it easy. It had something to grab onto if you want to think of it that way. Now, now it's when it gets a little bit more complicated, but not much. If we go back to the original model 
and it has design options. Now, the design options here are not, not very complex. They're very simple. It just says design set one, option one, option two. Now, what I'm going to do is go into the new model, and I'm going to replicate that setup. Hit new, and then I'm going to hit new again. So I know it's very simple, but we do have the same logic here now set up. Let's hit close. Now, what we'll do is we'll switch to that work set, or excuse me, network set. We'll switch to that uh, design option. And this will also work with work sets. You can do the same thing. Take it from one work set, put it on another. Uh, let's go back to options here. So now option one, in this model, notice I don't see anything. The reason being is I'm in the new model. Okay, So that's fine there. We'll go back to the original. Come down here, set it to option one. Now you'll notice that I can see those two walls that are on that on that design option. I'm going to go ahead and make a, put a window around it, or a crossing, whatever we need to do to grab those elements. You can do crossing window. Again, copy to clipboard. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, copy to clipboard, and then we'll go back to the new model, and we're going to go ahead and paste again to the same location. Align the selected levels, and we'll choose level one, and we hit OK. And you'll notice that it comes in and it places it. So now notice it's actually on design option one. So really, it's just a matter of us taking the elements that have been separated into design options in the original project and then separating them and bringing them into the separate design options in the new project. So here we go again. This again is a new project. I am now going to drop this down to option two. And then I'm going to switch back to this location. And I'm going to go to option two. In option two, I'll then make a window around the objects that we're copying. Once they're copied, we'll hit copy to clipboard. We'll switch back to the new project, and then we'll go ahead and hit paste and selected levels. Again, use the same level, hit OK. Now, these here, let's go back to our original just to verify. No smoke and mirrors here. Notice these go up to, let me go ahead and highlight one of them. OK, this goes up to level eight plus two feet. Now, we'll go to the new project because you may do that. You may have special dot, specialized things. I grab this one. Notice it goes up to level eight plus two feet. So now I'm in my new project and I have my design options that are active. So now if I go through these and make changes, just like we would if I made this primary, finish the editing, go ahead and make that primary, which you'll notice is that these elements have changed. So now we're seeing different ones in there. So the information has come over. There may be some nuances that you may have to clean up because of the transferring of the data. But hopefully that'll help you get your stuff from one project to another without too many headaches. If you enjoyed it, video, check out our other videos at youtube.com forward slash CAD University or check us out on the web at thebimguys.com. Thank you.